This is number 24 from the 2013 Mock Math Counts Sprint Round number 1. And uh, it's a ratio problem. And whenever you're doing a ratio problem, it's a good idea to define things using a variable as a multiple. What are you multiplying the parts of the ratio by? And so if ra ratio of A to B is 5 to 7, then you can consider it as 5x to 7x, where x is some sort of integer. Uh, or you could even be a, doesn't even have to be an integer. Um, and so then we can find out some other parts of this problem. For instance, the sum has to be 12x, and the difference um, is going to be 2x. And then it tells us that both of these are multiples of 16, which means whatever x is, x must be a multiple of 8. And that's a Im really important part of this problem. Because for this to be a multiple of 16, it has to, x has to be a multiple of 8. Now it turns out that this can be a multiple of 16 with um, x being a multiple of 4 because 12 has a 4 in it. But 2, you know, 2x two only has 1, 2, so we need the other three 2's to come from x to get us a multiple of 16. Um, and then we, we know that um, since it's gonna be a multiple of um, 8, um, x has to be a multiple of 8, then we know that x could be um, as um, small as um, something like 8 or whatever and so we need to find our um, sum, the, 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 the largest possible sum that is um, the, the first number greater than a thousand um, that is a multiple of 8 and so that's going to clearly be um, 1008 now the problem with 1008 is that when you divide this by 12 you end up with 84 and so x would be 84 but x 84 is not a multiple of 8 and so we need the next number greater than that which would be that is a multiple of 8 which would be 88 and so x has to equal 88 if x equals 88 then 12x is greater than a thousand 2x is um, a multiple of 16 and so the correct answer is B minus A is 2 times 88 which would be 176. 168 is a tempting answer but if you do 168 everything works except for the fact that B minus A is a multiple of 16.